Today we are learning about prime numbers. Now before we can learn about prime numbers, we have to talk about something called factors. Now factors are numbers that can be multiplied together to get a different number. And that sounds more confusing than it actually is. Let's look at an example with the number 6. You can multiply 2 times 3 to get 6. You could also multiply 1 times 6 to get 6. So we say that 2, 3, 1, and 6 are all factors of 6. So now we can talk about prime numbers. A prime number is a number that only has factors of 1 and itself. Here's an example with the number 3. Multiplying 1 times 3 will get you 3. You can also multiply 3 times 1 to get 3, but those are really the same. So the only factors of 3 are 1 and itself, 3. 3 only has factors of 1 and 3, and for that reason, we call it a prime number. Now let's look at number 10. You can multiply 1 times 10 to get 10, but you can also multiply 2 times 5 to get 10. So 10 has factors of 1, 2, 5, and 10. Therefore, 10 is not a prime number because it has factors other than just 1 and itself. Let's look at one of these together. Let's think about the number 7 and ask whether or not it's a prime number. Well, to do this, we have to check everything we can multiply together to get 7. Let's start with 1. 1 times 7 equals 7. Then we could look at the next number, 2. Does 2 times anything equal 7? Well, if you work this out in your head, no. 2 times nothing gives you exactly 7. What about 3? Does 3 times anything give you 7? No, we can't multiply 3 to get 7. Does 4 times anything give you 7? No, 4 times nothing gives you 7. Does 5 times anything give you 7? Nope, 5 times nothing gives you 7. And if we ask if 6 times anything gives you 7, the answer is also no. Finally, you get back to 7, and we know 7 times 1 equals 7. So when we look at this list, we can see that only 1 and 7 are factors of 7. We say 7 only has factors of 1 and itself. So 7 is a prime number. Here's another example with the number 9. Well, to check for factors, we can start with 1. 1 times 9 will give us 9. Does 2 times anything equal 9? No, 2 times nothing will give you 9. Does 3 times anything give you 9? Yes, 3 times 3 equals 9. What about 4? Does 4 times anything give you 9? No, you can keep checking 5 times anything equaling 9. The answer is no. 6 times anything equaling 9. The answer is no. Same with 7 as well as 8. Finally, you get back to 9, and we know 9 times 1 equals 9. So what are the factors of 9? Well, we can see that 1, 3, and 9 are all factors. You say 9 has factors of 1, 3, and 9. So is 9 a prime number? 9 is not a prime number because it has more factors than just 1 and itself. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Is the number 4 a prime number? Well, we know that 1 times 4 will equal 4, and 2 times something does equal 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. We can check if 3 times anything equals 4, but the answer is no. Finally, we know that 4 times 1 equals 4. So we see the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. 4 has factors of 1, 2, and 4, and therefore it is not a prime number. Here's your last one for today. Is the number 5 a prime number? Well, we can make our list that 1 times 5 equals 5. If we check if 2 times anything equals 5, the answer is no. You can check if 3 times anything equals 5, the answer is no. 4 times anything equaling 5, the answer is no. And then you get back to 5 times 1 equaling 5. So the factors of 5 are both 1 and 5. And because 5 only has factors of 1 in itself, 5 is a prime number. From today, remember that prime numbers only have factors of 1 and itself.